Today I'm sharing what's my desk setup for 2024. Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. I'll be going through the desk I use, what tech helps me stay the most productive, and accessories that make my space comfortable and aesthetically pleasing. All the links in the video will be in the video's description. Also, this video is sponsored by Kushu, but more about them later. Starting with the desk, kind of a no-brainer, but you need to have a standing desk. I use the Komar standing desk made by FlexiSpot. It's not that I always plan on standing with this desk, but it's really nice to have that option. A few things that I love about this specific desk. I love the steel legs that make it nice and sturdy. It's a standing desk and it has four adjustable heights and there's additional ports for charging. I like this simple white desk. Also putting it together is extremely easy and I've had this desk for a year now and it still looks brand new. The only downside is that the desk drawer is a little bit small, but overall I love this desk. And with every desk set up, it is essential to have a nice and comfortable chair. If you're gonna be in a chair for long hours, you wanna make sure you have good neck and back support, as well as a good comfortable seat. It's just the worst thing if you have an uncomfortable chair, how bad that can be for your back long-term. The chair that I'm using is the Union and Scale FlexFit. It's a really nice ergonomic mesh twill, kind of conforms to your body. I have it in black and it's a really decent chair. There are more comfortable chairs out there, I won't even lie, but this was something that I got over five years ago and it's still holding up really, really good. It's got really nice upper back and neck support. It's also got really good lower back support and it has adjustable arms to be able to rest your elbows and arms and it's really comfortable to sit in. Now for my computer, I'm using the M2 Mac Mini and I've had this for a year now and honestly, no complaints, no issues. It does exactly what I needed to do and it's just my computer. I don't do anything crazy on it because I don't use Final Cut. I don't use very heavy Photoshop or anything like that. Honestly, it's the basics and I love this computer. It's really cheap as well. I got this one with a higher storage option at $7.99. And again, like I said, it's been a year now and it's performing great. Never have any overheating. The fan barely ever goes on. It doesn't have as many ports as I would like, but for the price that I'm paying, it's a fantastic computer. Now, I probably wouldn't upgrade to this Mac Mini. You can expect the M3 Mac Mini probably sometime this year or early next year. So if you're holding out, just hold out a little bit longer. You can probably make it. But if you don't care, then even the M1 Mac Mini would be a phenomenal purchase for you. These are smooth computers that really operate for a more basic need. I actually made the switch from having a MacBook to using an iPad, and then I still wanted to have a computer that stayed more at home and something that I didn't need to carry around because I do have the iPad, and this is the perfect transition for me. Now, I know a display is a key essential to every setup, it's really important the one that you get. And I have the studio display, and yes, up front it is expensive. It's over $1,500 still, unless you can find it somewhere discounted at Best Buy, Amazon, maybe even Apple Refurbish. But honestly, this 5K display is phenomenal. The pixels are holding up excellent. There's no off coloring or anything like that. It is one of the best monitors you can buy. And I didn't want an iMac even though I love the iMac and I didn't want to have to fork out the money for a Pro Display XDR, but I still wanted to have something that was made by Apple and it has this beautiful aesthetic to it. It's 27 inches. It's more than I could ask for. The only thing missing is the fact that I don't have two of them, so I have only one display, but it's a fantastic display. Even after a year, I could see this lasting for the next decade. It is that good. Also, the speakers are just out of this world for some reason, and they're just really good as well. But you don't have to get this. There's some really good 4 and 5K displays out there for half the price, so definitely shop around. Since the desk setup that I do have is quite small, like the desk space that I have is small, as well as the desk, I thought it'd be a good idea to have extra space with a desk shelf. And the desk shelf that I have made by GroveMade is perfect. It's made of solid walnut, and it's actually a really nice quality. I have had it for a little over a year now, and I did chip it. I don't remember doing that. 
It is premium, but it is definitely not indestructible. So keep that in mind. I really like the fact that it does have this extra metal shelf that kind of breaks it to where the bottom of the desk part is like a shelf and then you have another shelf on it just for books and extra things that you might want to put on your desk. It's got plenty of room. It's pretty sturdy as well, so it can hold everything on my desk. For example, I have this iPad mount, my Mac mini, my studio display, and it's holding up a ton of stuff right now. And speaking of the iPad mount and my iPad, I use that as a second monitor. This mount right here is the X36 flexible arm clip tablet mount. It's made by Kushu, who is today's video sponsor. Thanks again, Kushu. And setting up the mount is not hard at all. And this mount can work with a thin desk or a thick desk. It's really easy to adjust just like a screw. And there's this adhesive material that prevents it from scratching your desk or causing any damage to your desk material. And adding it on, just super easy. You slide it right in, tighten up the screw, and it's pretty hard to move once it's tightened. The iPad clamp that goes on this actually will fit an iPad up to 12.9 inches. And it has some really nice features like these adjustable arms that can go exactly the way you like so that you have the best view of your iPad. And this part right here is a spherical joint that rotates 360 degrees. It's also quite stable and feels strong as well. So there's no fear of your iPad slipping and falling out. Since Kushu is sponsoring today's video, you'll get 10% off if you go out and purchase this. But I checked their website and this particular product itself is also having quite a good discount. There are new iPads right around the corner. So this might be something that you want to end up picking up. So if you do, I'll leave this in the pinned comment. Thanks again, Kushu, for sponsoring today's video. For the keyboard, I'm using the Keychron K5 Max, and it is a fantastic mechanical keyboard. It's an ultra slim wireless mechanical keyboard that supports Bluetooth and wired connection. It works really well with Mac OS, so I swapped out my Magic Keyboard for this, and the overall typing experience is just fantastic. And I love the sound that it makes. It also has RGB lights, which I'm not crazy about, but I know some people love that, so it's cool. The keys are slightly different gray tones, which I really like, it, and it kind of matches perfectly with the aesthetic that I have for my desk. For the mouse, I'm using the Magic Trackpad. Like I said earlier, I came from a MacBook Pro, and just having that trackpad feel again while using my Mac and Studio Display is what I'm really familiar and comfortable with. I do use a mouse at work. I think it's like a Logitech mouse, which those are good too. I just prefer when I'm using Mac OS to have that trackpad feeling. Under the keyboard and mouse, I am using a desk pad made by Grovemade. And the merino wool is comfortable to rest your hands on and the material is very high quality. Even after a year now, there's no fraying or anything like that. So it's holding up really well. To me, a desk pad is essential because you don't want your mouse and keyboard like rubbing against your desk. One, it'll scratch your desk. And two, it's not very comfortable. Most desks like material aren't comfortable. So this wool just makes it that extra little bit of comfort that is nice for typing. You can never have enough ports. And with the limitations of the Mac mini, I think for me, it's essential to have an external dock. This just helps me have that extra two or three ports that are needed. And this one made by CalDigit is exceptional. This is the CalDigit TS4 Thunderbolt 4 dock. I'll just put it on the screen, everything that you get. But for me, just having that extra two or three ports is essential. And it's also got like a really nice little place that you can put an SD card slot. You can have more USB-C ports. So for charging and other things that you need to use, you can connect your Mac mini to this and connect it to the studio display. And so that makes my setup just a little bit more than I need with just the Mac mini alone. For the charging stand, I am using a three in one charger made by a Magat. I think that's how you say it. What's nice about this stand is you can charge all three of your Apple products, your AirPods, your Apple Watch, and your iPhone all at the same time. What's really cool about this charger is it supports Qi 2. So it's Qi 2 certified, it's MagSafe compatible, of course. Standby mode looks great on this, but it's a really great charger. 
no overheating, charging at 15 watt, which is great. When at the desk, I use my AirPods Max. I got a nice AirPods stand with them. They're fantastic headphones. I, to me, don't get me wrong, these probably aren't the best headphones out there, but for me, again, a little bit obsessed with the Apple ecosystem, if you can't tell. These are great and I enjoy using them quite a bit. The light is a simple reading light just to add a little bit of extra light whenever it gets dark in the room or if it's dark outside and I have no idea where it's from. I, I'm sorry, I don't know, but you can just search for really nice aesthetic lights and probably find something better. That's my desk setup guys. All the links will be in the video's description and in the pinned comment. If you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Check out some of my other videos. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I would really appreciate that as well. As always, guys, thanks for watching. God bless. And I will see you on the next video.